Hello and welcome to my FireMonkey video blog. Today I want to show you a small application that was built only with three lines of code. It is here the analog clock. So I stop this and we're going now to the program. As you see we have here the form, it's a surface that uh, contains one circle, uh, some T layouts, some round racks, and one timer. And this is the code here, the three lines, the whole for the application. So we will start building this program from scratch, so it is easier for you to follow it. So I close this one and create a new multi-device project. I start with the T-circle. So we take 400 pixel width and also 400 pixel height. <coughs> and then we use one T layout and um, this will be also the height of 400 then. So I put it here and choose the height of 400 and we will center it, the alignment and therefore we move it into the circle. <coughs> and now we will add a um, t-text to this and align it to the top and set the text that should be 12 and text settings it should be a little more bigger so font settings, uh, style bold and size 24. Okay, so and now we can add the others. I copy this and pass it again in the circle. And now, uh, oh, it's not automatically uh, treated correct. So I move it into the circle and now we change the rotation angle to 30 and to fix the text in the right direction we change also the rotation angle but uh, in contra position to minus 30 and set the text to 1. So, so I skipped the last 10 layouts, uh, copy and pasting and settings and we go on with the clock hand. Therefore we use a T-round rect and we name it um, R Hour for the clock hand hour and I stretch it a little bit and move it to this position so and color perhaps in black So, and uh, now we need the other two ones, but before um, I do this, I show you one important setting. This is the rotation center. We want that the uh, clock hand will move this uh, direction. And so we choose here 0.5 is okay, but we need here 1. And the same I will do now for 
the um, clock hand for the minutes and for the seconds. So I have do this in the same way like before, but the clock hand for the minute is a little bit smaller and for the um, clock hand for the seconds uh, it's, it is red and also a little bit smaller. Now we need the timer event. So we add a timer and I pass the source code from the already programmed project and here is some explanation. So the Hauer clock hand has 12 position and one round is at 360 degrees so divided by 12 we have 30 pixel for one step and so we can um, link it to the Hauer number and we make also one small correction for the um, area between for example 5 and 6 o'clock when we have uh, uh, 70, 30 and something like this. And then we have the minute uh, <coughs> clock hand, it's uh, very easy. We have uh, 60 positions uh, so that means 360 uh, divided by uh, 60 we have uh, 6 pixel Per, uh, per minute position and the same it is for the um, second. So we're ready and we can start and look how it works. So here it is and it's correct. Wonderful. Yes and I hope you see how very easy it is to build um, Good looking applications with FireMonkey and uh, to do it with less code. So try to do it with the VCL and you have much more to program. That's all for today. Bye.